This is a summary of the paper The Grammar of Visual Narrative by Neil Cohn, Ray Jackendoff, Phil Holcomb, and Gina Kuberberg. Predominant theories of visual narratives like comics have focused on the linear relationships in meaning between images. We have hypothesized that sequential image understanding is more like language. They involve hierarchic relationships to be understood. Even though people understand sentences linearly, they make groupings of phrases that embed in hierarchic ways. In order to study these groupings in language, classic research on language introduced disruptions, either within or between these groupings, also called constituents, and found that disruptions within groupings were harder to understand than those between groupings. Similarly, we placed white disruption panels either within the groupings of sequential images or between them. Participants then viewed these sequences one panel at a time while we measured the electrical activity of their brains. Previous research on syntax in language has found two types of brain effects, left lateralized anterior negativities and posterior positivities called P600s. Similar brain responses have been found to the violation of grammar in music, such as when off-key notes are played instead of an in-key note. When we looked at the brain response to the disruptions in our sequences, we found that a larger negativity appeared to the disruptions within groupings than those between groupings. This effect had a left anterior distribution on the scalp. Also, we found that disruptions in the second grouping elicited a larger P600 effect than either of the earlier disruptions. Both the left anterior negativity and the P600 are similar to those seen in neural responses to language and music. First, the anterior negativity that was greater to disruptions within constituents than between constituents provides evidence that people make such groupings. Because we saw a difference between the brainwaves to disruptions in the first grouping compared to the second grouping at the disruption itself, people could not have been using linear transitions between images as a cue for the change between segments, because they hadn't made the transition to the next panel out of the grouping yet. Rather, this difference shows that their brains were actively predicting upcoming structure. Also, we found a P600 to the disruption only in the second grouping. We believe this is the result of participants having already crossed the boundary between segments and then receiving a disruption. This created an illegal grouping of narrative units, which violated their preceding predictions about the structure. This would be similar to getting a comma one word too late in a sentence. Finally, because similar waveforms have now appeared to the violation of grammar across language, music, and visual narratives, we believe this provides evidence that the brain relies on similar mechanisms in the processing of grammar across domains.